Okay. Um, what I did was went rendered a Iron Man. This is why I thought you might like it because it's got the Iron Man character. Um, basically, let me uh get the echo off. I already did. All right, I brought him in just to let you know what I did. I brought him in to After Effects and just um he was just as uh, himself. You know, basically, I did the auto trace on him just to get you up up to date on what I did. I auto traced him and got the al the white alpha mat. Then I uh, did the edge detection and uh, traced his outline. So I got an outline of him, and I'll show you that here. Oops, this one. See, I just got his outline just to just to get you up to date on what um, where I'm at. So basically, that's all I did. I just got to the point where I made an outline of him. Okay, and all he was doing in the scene was just, I just made him go jump up a little bit in the air and just do a move, you know, he just did a move with his feet. You can see it's not a big move or anything. It's just basically picture the Clark scene where they pick him up on the strings and he just, he just moves his hands like he's getting ready to jump and punch, you know, basically with his legs up like that, you know, it's just, just a uh, normal fight kind of move. Okay, now if you were going to take this and just go ahead and, uh, add an echo to it, you don't really get a very good echo. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that on my auto trace one. Let me bring that. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it. Let me make a solid first. I guess we'll make a white poly, a white solid. Just to set that up. Let me get a white solid just in the back so we, hopefully we can see it better. Alright, so we got our white solid. Now you'll see I'm going to go ahead and add the echo to it. Just add an echo 12 to it. And you'll see it's not not a very good echo. It's really close together, you know, because it's not really a big, huge uh, movement. Okay, no, nothing's, nothing's really happening uh, special. It's not, he's not running across the screen. He's kind of stayed put in the middle of the screen. And for echoes to work, it kind of has to really go left to right almost. And that's where that's why when he waves his hand, it's going left to right. It's actually you get a better echo that way because it's actually moving away from the center of point. And that's how echoes work. They work kind of left to right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enhance this echo to make it look more like the Bizarro Clark deal thing. Okay, so what I want to do is take this is just what this echo here. What I want to do is go ahead and get my original footage. So basically, I'm, I'm not going to use that uh, that outline that I just did. So we're going to get rid of the outline. Okay, we're going to start off with the the main. With just basically you. Say this is you jumping in front of your green screen. Okay, we, you just keyed yourself out. Now you're at that point where you just keyed yourself out. Okay, so we got you keyed out. Let's get to where we can see this better. Now, what we want to do is just enhance the this movement. So we're going to just uh, go to keyframe zero, click on the stopwatch for scale and position. All right, we're going to move him over. Let's use it by the sliders here so we get a more precise. We'll just move him over. See, we can move him wherever we want in this because he's keyed out now. And we'll have to add the background later, any kind of background we want. So we'll like put him over here a little bit. And we'll also scale him back to make it look like he's more in the distance. You know, like, because we need him to jump forward. So then we'll put him down like this. All right. So that's that part. Uh, let's see, move him down. Okay. Now let's keyframe up to our ending. And now we're going to scale it up. It's back to 100%. Don't go over 100% because you don't want to resize the uh, model bigger or y your video bigger. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to move this over to the right a little bit. So it's like he's jumping this way. See, he's kind of jumping like that. This may even be too big of a, a scale. We don't really want him to come from that far of a distance. All right, I think we got the height pretty good. Let me go up a little bit on the height. And we'll tweak his scale back up. 
maybe uh, 80, I guess. I just don't want him jumping. I mean, you can have him jumping from a far distance, but you're basically making your jump look like it was a bigger jump. Okay, you're faking faking it to make it look like it was a bigger, longer jump. Like, oh, he's coming from the back and he's flying, doing his punch. Okay, so there we go. We got that set. Now, we had... Now, we can't just echo this now or anything like this. We need to turn this into a video, basically. So, um, like, this really... Ha we have to make auto trace and everything think this is how the footage was shot. Like, you were coming from the distance. So, we have to actually pre-comp this. So, go to layer and pre-comp it. Okay, so now it's just like... Now, everything After Effects thinks that you just videotaped you coming from the distance or Iron Man, coming from the distance and jumping forward up high w with the motion. Okay, so now we can go ahead and use an auto trace on it. Now we have to auto trace it. So we go to, we just click on the layer, go to layer, auto trace, and first we want to trace the alpha channel. Okay, my, my settings for this are tolerance 1, threshold 1, minimum area 10, Corner roundness, 1%. I go with a lot of low settings on here, so I make sure I get the whole trace in. Okay, and uh, you can really turn the threshold up to 10 if you want to make it a little tighter. Okay, make sure it applies to a new layer. Make sure that's checked. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll pause this while, I, while this goes. Okay, so the auto trace is done. Now I'll go ahead and show you that. Okay, so we have the auto trace, the sol the alpha trace done. So that shows that now we have to pre comp first, go to effect, and we need to go to stylize, find edges, and invert it so black's in the center, and then we have the white outline. Okay, so then once you get that, we're doing this to the auto trace one we just did. Let's go ahead and pre comp that now. Now we're going to get our outlines. Now with the outline selected, go to Layer, Auto Trace, change the channel to Luminance, and now we can go ahead and leave all those settings the same way as they were before, and I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this goes. Okay, so that traced. So now we can go down to our Alpha Trace, the one we did before. We can get rid of that pre-com because we don't need it anymore. So we'll just delete that. So now what we'll have is my white solid. Try to ignore that. I'll put this underneath for now. All right, the main ones are the actual Iron Man, which is this layer here. And, of course, the outline, which is this layer. So let me turn on my grunge map so we can see it. Now, now we can actually see it. Okay, so this is just my background. Okay, here's my auto trace outline. Okay, so now we have that. See, it's basically jumping. We just gave it a really, you know, we faked the jump. We made it look like you did this massive jump up in the air and from a distance. All right, so now watch what happens when we add our echo to this. It's gonna, we'll get a much better, uh, a longer echo. So let me turn it up. I had it set for 12 before. See, now you can see... Not just the hand is going, we have everything going now. We have the whole body basically, you know, because we've moved the whole body uh, to a big jump. So now we can like really increase the echoes, you know, like 100 and... Let's just make a nice long one. There, 120. Bring this down a little bit. Just a little... No, I, I want to keep all the echoes in there as much as I can. Okay, it basically shows you right there that we get a nice long flow. But of course, I'm not. I'm going to show you how to how it looks on the Iron Man and everything like that. I was just quickly showing you that. So let me get rid of this echo. All right. So what I want to do is I want.